Hey guys, this is System, and this is Sky Factory 1. Hope everyone is well having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, I have not done too much, just a little bit. Went ahead and processed up uh, a little bit of our materials here. So we have a good amount of bigots, not a ton there, but uh, you know, a decent amount. So that's working out for us. Also, I went ahead and made another cobblestone generator. So I have this one here, a tier two, and uh, it's what I should have put there, but I will make more of these. I just needed one to kind of make me lava, just non-stop. So I'm gonna have this one just making lava non-stop, as opposed to this one. I know this one's making lava non-stop as well, but that one's for the smeltery, right? And then I did do one more thing, and it was suggested to me to, uh, I was running out of apples in the last episode, and one thing to kind of kind of deal with that is make these here. These are called apple sprouts, and they're from Cyclic. And they're really awesome, actually, because you could just put them on leaves, right? So I could just go up to these leaves here, have this tree kind of set up, ready to go. Kind of like, just, just put them on all the leaves and uh, just get that going here. There you go. I don't need everyone covered, but just want to cover most of them for this. And then since we have twerp in the pack, we can just twerp and they'll actually start growing. And uh, yeah, you can just grow yourself apples really quickly and a way of getting food uh, pretty easily and pretty quickly. It doesn't take very long. And when you break them, they actually drop the sprouts again. So you don't have to keep making the sprouts. And uh, yeah, you'll get yourself apples pretty quickly. So works out pretty well. Pretty awesome. And uh, I'm not sure who gave me that suggestion, but uh, thank you very much because uh, this is a very good one. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, one thing I did forget in the last episode too, which was pointed out to me, was I didn't show how I set up the melter. I, it wasn't on purpose. I just messed up when I was editing. So I'm going to go over it very quickly. So the melter is super easy. This is the melter here. It kind of does the same thing as the smeltery, except for it doesn't actually double things up. It gives you like one gigabit and three nuggets when you smelt something down in here. Uh, with the exception being grout, it'll double up grout. And this will not actually double up grout. So this is the only way to double up your grout. So you get more uh, seared bricks. The only other thing to really know about this thing is kind of how to power it. So down here we have a seared fuel tank. So I, you can use lava or you can use coal, basically. So this is the seared fuel tank. I use lava. But you can also use a seared heater. Just do that. Then put coal in it. And you can power it that way. I usually use the seared tank if I have lava. Simply because you need to use a seared heater in it anyway to... Uh, where is it there? To cast off the... I want the smeltery controller. Where is that? Smeltery. Check that out. Right here. You need to cast off four copper on top of it inside of a basin to actually get your smeltery controller. So it's just the, the way I usually do it. So pretty much the same as that, except for slightly different. So anyway, that's that. Sorry for leaving that out. Was not intentional at all. And uh, I guess that's uh, pretty much everything, right? I think I think I covered it all. I think we're good. So what I want to do today, though, I think is go ahead and set up my farm. So I think we're going to jump into that. And uh, yeah, I think that is probably the plan. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more things here. And then, yeah, we'll jump right into it. So we're going to build the mount farm down this way here. We'll have a little pathway go down this way. You basically want to have the mount farm more than 24 blocks away from where you usually are. So if you're too close, mobs won't be able to spawn. So I'm going to have a little bridge going out this way. And then lead into the mob farm, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and uh, do about that right there. And uh, that should be good. Then we're going to start going down because I want to have it, I guess, pretty close to the mob farm. Uh, and mob farms work a little different when uh, 116, right? So we can't do them how we used to, just with all the slabs and stuff. That doesn't work anymore. That doesn't work at all. Uh, it bleeds light. And if we bleed light, it, uh, it won't work at all. And, uh, that's definitely something we don't want. So we need to definitely do it different. But anyway, do something like that. It'll probably come out a little more sweet. And then we're going to have a little covered area so we can block light. Then probably like four more. Let's go two, three, four. That should work there. Should be a good little area. Now we're just going to do like a weird little straight line one. It's going to be the way we kind of set it up. So yeah, probably come back up. Maybe something like this here. Then probably one more block on top of that as well. So we'll be hitting them in the feet kind of right here. We just need to decide, I guess, how wide we're going to make it. I'm not sure how wide to make it actually. So just going to freelance it here. Freelancing? No, I'm not freelancing. I'm freestyling. So let's go this way and uh, maybe go like six maybe. Maybe that width there. That is good. Also, these ones too, you need to make sure you actually repair them before they break or you actually lose them. They're not like the hammers and stuff. So you need to be uh, a little aware of that. I keep breaking them though, but uh, that's definitely something that does happen, but uh, not that big a deal. I mean, they're pretty cheap at this point, but at the same time, if you don't want to uh, be constantly crafting them, 
probably a good idea to kind of keep track of that. So I'm four, I think I went seven, five, six, seven. I want to make sure this is even too. I was looking at the measuring tape too. So the original uh, version of this pack had a measuring tape, but the measuring tape is not the same recipe. There actually is another mod doing it now. It's called measurements and uh, it takes gray wool and yellow wool. And uh, I don't have gray wool right now. So good luck. <laughs> five, six, seven, that looks good. And then seven this way, right? Yeah, that looks good there. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here. So let's go ahead and bring this all across. So kind of like this. This, like I said, will be where the mobs actually stand. Then we're going to have to cover this and then bring it up three tall. So it'll have to be three tall just so we can get uh, Enderman, which is probably the main drop I'm going to want out of this anyway from the get-go. So that's the thing. Let's put something here so we can actually get up here temporarily. That's good. Then we'll have to go ahead, I guess, and bring up the sides kind of like this here. That looks good. And then probably the other side as well. Maybe I'll bring it around this way. It actually makes more sense to do it like this, right? So we'll just bring it all across and uh, hopefully not fall off in the process. Still haven't fallen off yet. I'm still expecting to at some point and having to uh, pillar down. But uh, that's why I started putting fences everywhere because I am a little paranoid about it. But anyway, that's good. Do that there. Then we're going to bring a half slab, I guess, all the way across. So we'll do something like that there. Just ram my back in the wall. That's not very indicative of something that I really want to do. But yeah, we'll have a working mob farm pretty quickly. And we should be able to automate this kind of shape that I'm doing here too. I'm not going to be able to get spiders and stuff in here, but uh, it'll work out pretty well either way, uh, which is pretty cool. But we'll be hitting them right at the feet basically is the, be the way that it'll be going. Anyway, let's go up here. Uh, how much more wood do I have? Not enough. Let's go ahead and grab more. It used to be so much cheaper when we could just do this with slabs. But anyway, that's the thing. Since we have to come across this way, then we can actually start wanting again. So that's cool. Yeah, so not too bad. Should be pretty easy. Pretty simple. The main thing, like I said, is the light mechanics. They just have changed. Uh, can I want that? Yeah, there we go. That's good there. Go there. There's two high. Go up to our third. Then we'll probably have to put torches or something on the top. Or we could use slabs, but I'll probably just use torches. But uh, we will have to use solid blocks up here for the first level. Because again, it'll bleed, uh, bleed light through the top. It's just the way it works in 116. I don't know when it started doing that. I don't know if it was in 116 or previously, but uh, definitely not something that you can do anymore. Just use slabs to block out the light. So that is uh, definitely something we need to contend with. So that is good there. Go ahead and jump down. That is cool. And uh, there we go. That is kind of the main shape. But if we go ahead and hit F7 on our keyboard, see those little yellow X's? That means mobs can't spawn there. Uh, we actually need that to be uh, red. So that's what we're going for. So we need to work on that. So we're going to have to go ahead and close that. Get rid of you. Get rid of you there. You don't need you as well. Do this and this. There you go. I want to show you something else too. I, I, I've never seen this before. If you actually like run on a wall, um, then jump and hit shift. So like this. You can actually do this like weird jump thing. It's, there's like a wall grab thing. It's actually kind of neat. Get you up a little higher. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's adding that in this pack, but it's a pretty neat little thing, I have to say. Maybe something like that there. Uh, maybe slab that because <laughs> I don't want to do it like that. There you go. Then I'd want to wall this entire area off, I think. So maybe something like this here. Then we'd have to have a little kind of covered area here. Use a lot of wood, like I said. So before we used to do this with like one stack of uh, probably oak, we would have probably handled this. That doesn't work anymore. That is definitely not going to be how it works there. So I'll leave us a little three wide section here, I guess. Do something like this here. That looks good. And probably do the same thing over here. Then we'll have a little covered, covered area. Then I think these extra three blocks will be enough to block the light in the center as well. And uh, that should be a pretty much fully working mob farm. So... Yeah, definitely really cool. And once we get a few ender pearls, we should be able to automate this pretty easily. So that is cool and uh, pretty useful as well. So let's go ahead, finish this puppy off. That's good there. Probably that there. And then I'd have to do this. Oh, I just totally derp. Oops. <laughs> totally miswanted there. Anyway, we'll get this done one way or another. Those aren't supposed to be slabs either. So I totally derped that. And that's why it messed everything up. Anyway, we'll get her done one way or another. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty neat to do a mob farm like this. I haven't done a mob farm like this since I think uh, I last played a uh, Sky Factory. So, yeah, definitely haven't had to use this style mob farm for a long time. Also, I should tell you something, too. I totally forgot. Um, Dark Osto actually has the pack set. So, I don't know what mod he's using or what they did to do it. But 
Usually people always say build down at, um, I guess, down by the void. You get the best rates. It doesn't work like that in this pack. They actually have it set, so you, I think you actually get better rates building it up here. So that is uh, kind of how they have it set. It's actually kind of neat that they went to the trouble to do that too. Uh, why do I feel this ramp is off? Oh, I went across too far for here. Let's actually fix this section. Just so we have a matching little tunnel here. So something like this. You notice some of the X's there are starting to turn red, and uh, that's what we want to see there, right? Let's go ahead and bring that maybe that far across and see how well that does for us. So we went ahead and did this and that, this and that. You can see there it's getting more and more red. We're almost there. We're almost done. Do that, do that. And then I guess uh, we're definitely coming at least one more. So let's do that. There, there, and there. We're still not done. So let's see if this one does it. If not, I may have to change the bridge ever so slightly. So that, that, and that. No, it's all red. But I do need to fix the bridge. So let's go ahead and do this here. Yeah, I almost had it right, which is not too bad. But uh, that's cool. Go ahead and do that. Now we should be able to get in here. And this should be a fully functioning mob farm. All we have to do is pretty much leave it for a bit. Come back. And uh, we should get mob spawn in there. I'm assuming that the map's going to show me mob spawns as well. I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait here. But... Maybe not too long. <laughs> really depends on uh, how long before the game wants to do an update for the uh, mob ticks, right? So anyway, hopefully sooner or later we'll see something in there. I was hoping while I was talking would actually happen, but apparently it's going to make me wait a couple seconds. So we're starting to get some mobs on our mob farm here. It's actually starting to work, which is awesome. You can tell by the little red dots on the map that there's uh, mobs in your mob farm, which is nice. Good reason to use the map. I can kind of just run in here now anytime I want. Just uh, whack them in the feet and uh, pick up their drops really easy. So that's actually pretty cool. I didn't get any drops though. I got totally scammed. But anyway, definitely definitely a working mob farm, which is awesome. Probably go ahead and uh, do something like this here. Do that. Just so I have a place for some drops, I guess. Have to add a couple more chests in here. But gives us a little bit of room. Also, I did the lower floor on purpose just so I couldn't get mobs to spawn in this area. So I guess that is uh, definitely a thing. But this thing's not going to get us a large amount of drops, right? So we'll update this in time. But for right now, I really just need a few enderpearls to kind of make it so we can start automating some things. So we'll work towards uh, making that better later on. But uh, for right now, that is uh, more than enough. Just as long as I get some endermen there sooner or later. Also, there's a fairy. Pretty sure you just touch those. Yeah, I think those are basically, they're from Forcecraft. <laughs> the weird little fairies there. I think they heal you. I think they're supposed to like... Uh, the fairies from uh, Zelda is basically the idea, right? So Force Raft is, uh, I guess, Dark Raft originally. It was kind of modeled after uh, a little bit from Zelda. So definitely pretty cool and a uh, pretty neat little guy there. So anyway, we got a working mob farm. And uh, yeah, we're in fine form there. Next thing I want to make here, though, is probably one of these here. How much, what does that take, actually? There was like a clicker. I want to look at the clicker here. What is that called? This one right here. Click machine. This was it here. So what's this take? Tin, some piston, a chest, and a redstone servo. Let's go ahead and grab everything we need for that. So it was uh, some tin. So we have a little bit of that. We have redstone. What else did we need there? It was one more thing, right? I guess some iron. Let's go ahead and grab this. I want to go ahead and uh, see how well this thing works. I'm going to keep checking this too because I really need an enderman. I get uh, enderman and start automating things. Just a, just a stinking witch, man. Just uh, go away. There you go. <laughs> we got a free piece of redstone from him though that isn't too bad and uh yeah let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on here so what was i trying to make here i was trying to make a click machine so what mod is this from it's from the mod click machine so anyway let's go ahead and grab that might be a custom one go ahead and grab this one here redstone servo and then we can actually grab this which is the click machine now i think we can actually use this to automate the uh sifting setup so i want to try that out and see how well it works so uh, can, first off, can we aim these? We can too. So I can kind of move those around, but I'll kind of figure that out in time. And uh, what's the interface going to look like here? Powered by rainbow magic? <laughs> does it actually take power or not? What do you mean powered by rainbow magic? What does that even mean? Who made this? I need to look at the dev of this anyway. So it looks like we can make it use items too. So that's something. Sneaking, right clicking. I guess we just need it on right clicking for right now. I don't know what the rainbow magic's all about. Kind of stuck on that one. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I guess break this here and try this. I want to go ahead and do that. Then I'd want it uh, facing this way. Wait, how does that face? 
How do you face? How do you work, machine? Give me you. Give me you for a sec. If I just put you down, which way do you go? Point it at me. Okay, so that's good to know. Go ahead and uh, try that again. Hopefully that didn't fall in the void because that would have made me angry. Sweet. Go ahead and uh, maybe put it there. There you go. Then go ahead and uh, grab ourselves one of our actual sifters there. Go ahead and take that. Pop that down. Give that a mesh. Then I guess I need something to sift. And I don't think I have a lot of stuff to sift right now, actually. So I think I processed it all. Maybe I'll do a couple dirt just to see if it works, right? So if I went ahead and uh, put that there, does that actually work? Three seconds. Can I up that? Like, am I allowed to up that? It is working. So this is going to be a way to fully automate this, right? It's going super slow right now, though. Maybe up to like that. Actually, is that moving or not? Or is that a graphical glitch? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, it is working. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's doing the thing. So if I go max speed. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, so that's cool. So once we have an ender pearl, I think we can do that and auto collection. I just don't know how we've beaten that. I guess we could just hopper into the center uh, sieve probably. And then, yeah, just grind things down and feed it. We'll just need an ender pearl to do the auto collection. So I may go ahead and watch the mob farm for a bit and see if we can actually get ourselves an ender pearl. Because if we get an ender pearl, I definitely want to get that automated because that seems really cool. Actually, I want to try one more thing now. Now I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and grab this for a sec. Do this, right? Do I have anything I can grind down? Uh, any more? Or did I do them all? I have some tin. Let's go ahead and try that. I want to see if it works on this thing as well. Go ahead and uh, grab ourselves a that and this. Here you go. Hopefully I got everything. I got nothing because my inventory is completely full. Let's throw away glass bottles because we'll end up with hundreds. If I did this, right? Then I grab myself the handle here. Go ahead and pop that there. I'm going to go ahead and check the mob farm real quick. Oh, I see an enderman too. You here? Oh, there's two of them. Come here. <laughs> I need an enderman. Uh, I'm going to need another ender pearl actually for an inhibitor too. Oh, I got one too. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, we got one. Awesome. <laughs> That's actually really cool. But I need an inhibitor too to make it so those guys can't teleport either. I think it's this thing right here. Yeah, we'll end up, end up having to do that as well. But I want to do the other thing first. But before that, let's go ahead and do more science. In. So let's go ahead and grab this. Do that. Go ahead and put this on the dirt right there. And it looks like it actually can move the handle. Rainbow magic. I'm liking rainbow magic. Anyway, that's cool. Just going to see. Yeah, it does. So you can automatically grind things down at this point in the game, too. That's actually really neat. Can you go, like, full speed? Oh, look at that. Yeah, you could totally automate this. That is so cool. Yeah, we'll be definitely working for some of this stuff. This is actually pretty neat. That you can even get to this stuff this early in the game. That's actually really cool. So the item I was looking at, though, the one I want to make to uh, make it so we can auto-collect our items. Because that's what we need to do with, uh, I guess, this setup over here. So I grind things down, basically, is the plan. Throw it into a hopper. Feed the, um, the sifting setup. Then walk away from it. So it won't be fully automated. But uh, what we'll want is, uh, I think it's an absorption hopper, right? We'd want one of these. So it looks like we're probably going to have to work towards... So we've got our one enderpearl. I guess we have to work towards some obsidian. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that next. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and work on obsidian here. But I did get a weird item from the mob farm. I don't even know what dropped it. I think it was a, just a zombie or a skeleton, actually. But it was this life essence. And apparently it can be turned into a vitalized seed. Plant on a rich vitalized soil. And then use this. It looks like you make soil with it. So with some diamonds, some water and stuff. And then it looks like you can grow enderpearls with it. So... Maybe that's something we'll try at some point, but I need to set up an actual kind of farm first. So, yeah, definitely weird. Definitely weird. Looks like you use an ender pearl and then you get the bulb. So I'm guessing that's going to do something, but I have no idea. I'm guessing that's ender pearls. Either way, it's all guessing at this point. So it's all theory crafting. I just thought it was neat. Thought I'd point it out there. Go ahead and uh, grab uh, a barrel here. We need another barrel. So let's go ahead and grab this. And do that. We need one that can hold lava now. So we're going to go ahead and make a stone barrel. So let's go ahead and grab that. And with this, we should be able to make obsidian pretty easy, actually. So a way to make obsidian is uh, lava with water on top. And then, yeah, just makes obsidian. So shouldn't be too bad. So what I'll do is, uh, how would I do this? Probably the easiest way. Maybe, actually, I should have it like one up. Let's do something like this here. 
Sweet. Then we'll do a little temporary setup. Just get us like three pieces, right? Because that's all I need to kind of start here. Did I just hear an Enderman? What did I just hear? I need to make an inhibitor quick because they are going to start teleporting every once in a while. And then we should have uh, some pipes here somewhere. Where did I put them? Oh, they're right here. Go ahead and grab that. Sweet. Awesome. And then I need to hunt down my wrench as well. I have nothing on me that I need. There you go. There it is. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, set the extract on that. And uh, that should start getting lava in it. That's good. Then another thing to probably do would uh, be grab probably some trap doors or something. So we can kind of fence this off really easy. Let's go ahead and do like two sets of them. That is good there. Then we need to set water kind of floated on top of there. And then it sh should kind of just start doing its magic. Also, I want a couple more of this. So let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. Maybe up here. Then I guess uh, we'll just put that up there so we can do this really easy. So we just uh, fence that. Looks good. That looks good. Sweet. Actually, does this still work? I don't know if this still works. Are these going to get water logged and just leak all over the place? So that's, no, trapdoors are safe. That's right. Trapdoors are safe. That's why I use it over here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> always have to think about things these days. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that piece of wood out of there. And then we should be able to grab the water. There we go. And then just uh, pop that in there. Now, that is, uh, that is totally a piece of wood. Let's try water. Oh, no. I need to make sure I can actually target this somewhere. I need a solid block, don't I? Will this work? If I do... Actually, none of this will work. Why is everything got to be so difficult? Let's, uh, let's do this side. Don't fall off. There you go. Do that. Go ahead and uh, put a piece of wood here or something, I guess, for a second. Why is everything going to be so uh, annoying with the water logging? I'm do that there. And there you go. We got a piece of obsidian. And then we got another one. And then we got another one. And then we got another one. And now we're out of lava. So, yeah, it works really well. That'll just move the lava as it's produced straight in here. Then I'll kind of buffer them there as well. So we'll end up with uh, extra lava. But I do want to get a fence here because it is cleaner. There you go. And uh, hopefully we can get this done pretty easy. Oh no, how do I place this though? This doesn't work at all. I guess I could do, uh, I, I need two fences. No, I can do it this way. There you go. <laughs> Why is everything going to be so difficult? No, don't, don't, don't send me into the, into the void. Don't, don't do that. There we go. That's good there. And then hopefully there. Awesome. There you go. We got a little set up here for obsidian. And we can fully automate this later, right? So I could end up uh, adding a hopper to a chest. And that would just continuously make that. I just want to keep this lava in a... Uh, I'd like it to get backed up. Because we could use uh, lava for other things. Like, uh, I guess I could pull the lava out of there too. Maybe we'll automate that. Let's go ahead and grab a hopper. <laughs> no reason making reasons why I can't do this right now. And this way I just won't have to worry about obsidian anymore, right? So we'll just do that right there, that right there, and that should automate that. So we'll wait until one's done and uh, see if it actually gets done there. So that is cool. With that, though, we should be able to make our hopper, right? So we go to the absorption hopper now, hunt that down. So it's this puppy here. Should be able to make ourselves a eye vendor, no problem. Should be able to make ourselves a chest, hopefully. Uh, a chest, not a trap chest, just a regular chest. Why, why is the recipe going to be so difficult? Let's go ahead and grab that one. We grab ourselves a hopper. Awesome. And then grab ourselves a absorption. And that's good. And now we should be able to go ahead and automate that thing. So let's actually go ahead and grab another wooden hopper as well, I guess. Uh, you need yet another chest, I suppose. That right there. That looks good. And do I have any more of those small chests or not? I do not. Let's go ahead and uh, make one more of them, I suppose. There you go. I guess two more because uh, that's how you make them. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Awesome. And then I think that's everything. So we need this, a chest, right? So that'll be one part of it. Then this will be the feeder. So let's go ahead and set this up. Uh, I may sleep really quick just so we don't have to look at the nighttime for very long because uh, we don't have a lot of lighting yet. There you go. Let's go ahead and head over here. Should be able to put a hopper right there, right? Then I guess a chest on top. We use that to feed it. Then the items are going to drop everywhere. And that's kind of the point of this other one, right? Actually, we should use regular chest for this uh, other part of it. Uh, just because we should have a double chest or something, right? Just so we can hold a little bit more. So maybe that's a better idea. Go ahead and grab you. Sweet and sweet. And then I should be able to set this up pretty much anywhere over here. Maybe we'll move that torch. Let's do that and that. That looks good. Go ahead and uh, grab our torch. Pop it right there. Go ahead and grab our absorption hopper. We want to set the way it's going to move items. So we're going to set that to down. And does this thing grab experience too? But we're not worried about that right now. And we show the area. 
you should be able to see the area in which it's going to pick up items, which probably isn't optimal. I probably want it to move one more forward here. So we'll have to sort that out. Looks like that is uh, west, right? So I need to move it, uh, I guess, minus west one. Did that move it to the right spot? Looks like it, right? That's good there. Maybe one more that way. Do that there. Sweet. And that actually looks pretty good there. That's good. Then we got two off this side, and two off that side. That's a pretty good work area. If I have to add some walls or something, I can do that. But I'm going to go ahead and just throw some dirt in here. I really don't need to do dirt anymore. But uh, anyway, we're just going to do a bunch because honestly, I haven't done any. I used all the gravel. I actually processed it all. So I want to make sure it can actually make it through this uh, kind of cycle constantly. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure this is on max speed. Go ahead and grab you. Pop you in there and see if that works. Is that not going to work? You can't hop in this? Oh. I assumed this was going to work. So maybe it's how I'm doing it? Or do I need another clicker to do this? I wonder if that's it. Actually, wait a sec. Can I do this? Ah! I'm doing this completely wrong. <laughs> so yeah, that'll still work. That works. That's cool. And those items should get picked up automatically. Ah, that's so cool. So yeah, that'll work fine. I need to watch it and make sure items aren't uh, flying out of the area. But that totally works. I just need to move that hopper. So yeah, really cool. And uh, really awesome, actually. And everything should be in here. And uh, there we go. We got uh, automated uh, sifting set up. So that's really cool, actually. Just need to readjust it, I guess, ever so slightly. So weird learning these new mechanics. Everything's uh, changed on me, right? So everything's a little different. And uh, a lot of the mods are a little different. So I have to learn it as I go. Uh, that's what makes it fun, right? Just uh, learning new stuff. So that's cool. So that set up there actually works. That should work just fine. Actually, I should put in one more dirt to make sure. Working no problem. So yeah, automated sifting, really awesome. And automated collection. Of course, we have limited space. We can work on that in time. You could, I guess, in theory too, if you really wanted to, uh, connect, I guess, another two chests here, another two chests off this side, and two more chests off that side, and just set the outputs for items on all the different sides, right? Yeah, you can do it on all the different sides, right? So that's cool. It would give you a lot of item collection. So that works out pretty well. I wonder if we got uh, any more Endermen in here. <laughs> we do, actually. That's awesome. We're getting pretty lucky on the Endermen. Pretty good rates. Give me give me a pearl. Oh, I did, too. I got another pearl. Look at me. I have, like, dream luck right now. Not dream luck. Uh, dream uh, rates, right? So I'm pulling a dream here. I changed the game files because that's what I do because my name is Dream. So I went ahead and made us another one of those click machines there. And I grabbed our playing grinder. I want to see if we can actually automate the uh, creation of gravel at this point. Because if so, that'd be awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, try that out. Let's go ahead and grab this uh, wood here. Let's do that. Go ahead. Uh, I don't even know where to put this, actually. Probably here because we're going to be over here. This is going to be where I want it in the end anyway. So let's, uh, let's do that. Go ahead and grab a grinder. Maybe do that. Put the handle in there. That looks good. And uh, that should be good there. Now I'm thinking we'd end up probably pulling out of the bottom, right? So let's actually grab a chest. Maybe uh, right here. Then we could just go ahead and hopper into this puppy. So let's just use uh, one of these uh, two wooden hoppers. That's good there. Then we're going to have to have the click machine about this level, I guess, there. Then that should be pretty much it. I could lower this one more, too. Maybe I'll lower, the, lower this one more. So let's actually do that. Let's do that. Uh, everything's probably getting picked up by the absorption hopper or this hopper right here. Where is it at? It's right there. There you go. Sweet. Uh, kind of getting an idea how we should do this. Anyway, there you go. Maybe, like I said, probably put it right here instead. Then we'd have that there, right? So that'd work like that. And uh, I should have did that backwards. So let's do this. Let's do chest. And let's do get rid of a piece of wood. Let's go back to hopper. <laughs> We're back where we started. There we go. Grab our grinder and uh, see if we can actually get it into place. No problem. Grab the handle. Lock so. Then we want the clicker right there. I just didn't want to make it super tall. was the only thing I was thinking with the whole setup there. You know, let's do that. Grab ourselves a clicker. Put it right there. That should work and start working there. Turn that up to max speed. And I guess all we have to do is feed, uh, I guess, a uh, hopper into this too, right? So let's go ahead and grab a hopper. And then go ahead and do that. Now I think all I have to do is fill that up with cobblestone. That will be automatic gravel. So let's try that out. Uh, if so, that's actually really awesome and super simple. 
Because I don't think Sky Factory 1, like the actual first one, right? I should just call it, it was just called Sky Factory, I guess. Uh, had this, right? This wasn't a mechanic that was in uh, the original. This is definitely a quality of life thing that was added, if so. Anyway, is it doing the thing? Are you doing the thing? So our mob farm is uh, working really good here, actually. It's uh, working pretty rad. Got ourselves a bunch of creepers here. And I did sort out the uh, clicker there. I just wanted to clear this out first. So that is cool. We just got two more enterprises too, which is amazing. But anyway, let's head over here for a second and show you how this thing works, but it doesn't work at the same time. So I have it working now at max speed, which is great. Down here, it is uh, grinding up gravel, but it's not pulling items out through the hopper as well as it won't pump in uh, cobblestone through a hopper either. So you can't actually fully automate this thing. I guess that was wishful thinking. It's not something that we could do. It's understandable too, because if we could, this thing would have been uh, pretty OP, I guess, this early in the pack. But I mean, I could still throw like a stack of cobblestone, sand, or dust in here and then just walk away from it, I suppose. But that's pretty uh, limited usefulness. We'll have to get to other automation, I guess, before too long. So, anyway, was a cool idea. Didn't pan out, but that is cool. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this one up here. I think we did pretty good today. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it? Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.